1949 is when El Campo Santo Cemetery was established, aka the Holy Field, and it was used till about 1880. It was a Catholic cemetery, and it's where 477 souls eventually surrendered their bodies. something around me? I don't know. Well, just come over here and take a look. No, you stay there. No, it's, it's, but it's like, does it dance like that? <laughs> it was doing exactly. <laughs> but, but, but. I hope this is recording. It, it I did touch it since you did it. <laughs> but it's not him because it was No, it's, it it's not him. But is that just the headstone or is that actually something? Hello. With somebody with us? Uh, that was weird. Okay. I'm gonna never... go over here and see uh because I think it was picking up so I spoke too soon when I said it wasn't picking up the tunes, but that was weird. I've never seen it just zap something like that before. Okay. Maybe we'll go over to Thomas Tanner. How about that? So this is one of the guys who died in the Whaley house. <laughs> hey, Mr. Thomas, Mr. Tanner. I hope you uh, let me speak to you for a second, if you don't mind. I'd like to ask you some questions if you'll entertain me. Would you like to say anything about your theater? Or what might have happened that day when you had passed away? You're getting ready for a show. What show was that? Heard you didn't uh, quite make it to opening night. I'd like to have a, my own little theater in my house one day. I don't have a... Uh, Whaley money though, so that might be just a, a pipe dream. I heard you're uh, a ladies' man. You like the ladies? Women with curves? G passed me, and I was like, and I said, something just pinched my butt. And then she was talking to the man, and then he told her that that's. He does that. He likes yeah. to pat them in the butt or... There know. was a guide here and I was curious to know like what was up with the little girl. And uh, he was telling me about this guy and how he likes to like pull hair and touch ladies. And I was just like, oh, that's funny because she just got her butt pinned. Well, I'd like to thank you for your time. Uh, keep your fingers off them butts. How was that? That was weird. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. 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 Well, hello. Who is that? I can't see from here. Let's, uh, Okay, let's move over here and see, maybe. Oh no, that wasn't the right one. I think, yeah. Mr. John Walsh, son of uh, Thomas Walsh. I have no idea who this person is, but they're here. All right, I'm gonna record and see, see if they'll uh, talk to us.
So what are we seeing here? So right now it seems like there is an uh, uh, entity standing in front of a tombstone. And the Just tombstone chilling. right here in front of us, but this is picking it up. Yes. So uh, this is the tomb of John Walsh. So I was standing over there uh, trying to get some info on uh, Thomas Tanner. And so this popped up on the screen. And I thought it was that tombstone, but I forgot that uh, this works in reverse. So whatever's on this side is actually on this side of you. And so mm -hmm. I thought it was over there. But then when I put the SLS, it's called the SLS on there there was no person but then when i came over here he popped back up again so i'm guessing he's got something to say maybe so um all right john i'm genghis um i hope uh you uh would entertain us with uh, a little bit of information about yourself once this plane pa uh, passes we'd really like to get to know you So uh, tell us about yourself. Are you a native San Diegan or did you move here from somewhere else? How was Tom Walsh? Great dad. Well, there's no, there's no info on him. Yeah. So he's just sitting here watching he's us. He's just staring at us right now. Oh, John, I think uh, it's mighty uh, nice of you to, to let us uh, see you. That's pretty cool. Um, and I, I really do appreciate you uh, giving me the time to talk to you. Um, we're going to move on, but maybe we'll come back if you have any else, anything else that you'd like to say. Uh, we might bring some other tools here so we can kind of like get a, get a feel for you better. Maybe you can become a friend. We're already friends. Oh, your battery's off. Already? Right. I just charged it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here, well, give me some of this change. I'm going to go make sure we put some offerings on. I think Brandon's getting creeped out now because, um, <laughs> so they let me have my spirit box back. Um, I need to, uh, do a sweep in order to communicate, but, um, yeah, I just turned it on just to see if it'll work and it's working again. Okay. So we arrived here just before three in the morning. And, um, so we're setting up to talk to Mr. Thomas Tanner here. I set up my SLS that I know I charged last night and um, the tablet for the SLS died. And so I'm like, okay, I'm like making a joke, like we'll just blame the spirits, you know, even though it might be operator error. Well, Brandon's camera died, um, camcorder camera. Died. And that battery was fully charged. Yeah, so they are draining our batteries. Um, Something here definitely doesn't want us talking to them. Um, so I guess now we have to decide whether or not we want to keep poking that bear. for her because apparently she doesn't like you reading information about her and if you don't give her an offering I was told that she uh, leaves a black cloud over your head for a year <laughs> 